My name is Christian Loya and I'm the welding engineer here at Chromalox. We have a range of metals that we do here. We do steel, stainless steel, ink canal, hast alloy. I mean, the metals, we just do a wide array of metals. A lot of our things that we're using are for industrial heating applications. Uh, we do things for hydrogen, salt water, so areas where um, exotic metals like ink canal 625 that would do great in a salt water environment and also does great at elevated temperatures. We are known around the globe as one of the best industrial heating companies out there. And we have the engineering to provide customers with whatever they need. You know, anything from a small heater for the cabin of a naval ship all the way to heating the salt water in Florida for the manatees. Uh, one of the things they wanted to implement was newer technologies. So the acquisition of the Watts pipe cutter along with your guys' power source it was something we really needed. How long does it take to cut a whole chamber that requires two end cuts that are 37 and a half degrees plus two nozzle ends that are cut in at 37 and a half degrees on a perpendicular axis? So right now it could take us anywhere from three to four hours for a guy to do it manually. Um, now a guy can program it in and cut it within 10 minutes. The quality of the cuts are great. Uh, Seeing what we did before, just manually doing it or using a, a different power source but without the water mist technology, it's a night and day difference. Um, the amount of time it takes to clean up that joint, it's 100% faster now because it's very minimal and also that comes down on our consumables also. You know, we're not using as many grinding discs and flap discs, so it's really it's a time saving and it's a cost saving on our consumables also. We use, you know, like the 120 grit flap discs compared to a grinding wheel used on a different power source without that water mist technology. So the inside of the pipe is a lot better also. Um, doing it manually with a different power source without the water mist, it gets stuck in there and you really have to chisel it out and it takes a lot of time to get it out. Now with the water mist technology, all you got to do is, you know, you just got to actually just, you can take it out with your hands. I mean, it's, it's not stuck on there. So it's, it's really easy to get out and that's a big difference too with that technology. What's great is we're advancing into different markets in the industry right now and um, the thickness and size of our vessels was one of our concerns. Um, getting it cut, doing the right bevels and with this power source we have no issues with that. We can cut two inch thick all day. Uh, the duty cycle on the machine is great and now looking into the future we know that having the right power source, you know, that's not an issue anymore. Yeah, the workflow, it's more of an actually workflow now. We can actually do things quicker and we're not holding up the welders. Uh, we can actually cut, you know, a week's worth of pipe in a day now instead of taking a month to do a week's worth of pipe manually. So the workflow is working with us really great now. With the WASP machine, the software program they did was great. Uh, for me, I have a background, you know, working with 3D programs. I could have trained myself. You know, I, w I wouldn't have even needed them with that software program. I think for us, implementing these new technologies is great, and that's what Chromelox is about. We're trying to improve and add newer technologies to make things easier, um, make it friendly to the workforce, and automate everything as much as possible. Automation is the, is the key to most futures of every company, and, and that's what, how we're getting started is implementing uh, the Watts cutting machine.